Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is August 15th and the grain markets seem to be rallying a bit this morning. Corn for September trading up six and a half. Uh, December corn contract up seven. Beans for September up 27 and November up 28. Wheat in Chicago up five and a half and Kansas City wheat trading up four and a quarter. Logan, what do you make of it? Yeah, Cody, well, you know, not, not really a big news day here in the grain complex or in the outside markets in general here. Uh, it looks like a little bit of a, a snapback here, especially in the soybean, all right, in the corn market, rather. Uh, but we did see kind of an interesting story come out from China, though, today. Let's take a look here at the Dalian Exchange. This is basically their September delivered corn contract. And as you can see right now, we're retesting highs uh, with recent market action. There have been some stories there about army worm infestations on their crop. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that, but certainly higher prices out of China could deflect some demand into the U.S. market, China's huge consumers of U.S. corn. Do you expect the U.S. market here, Cody, to follow the dollar exchange higher here, or, or do you think that we're going to do for some continued selling? Look, I, I agree that it's important. The China National uh, Grain and Oilseed Information Center, they revised their grain production down 500,000 metric tons. But honestly, I, I just don't see that as a, as a absolutely... Uh, a driver for U.S. Right. Um, U.S. exports. I, I see uh, U.S. right now in a situation where there's uh, there's significant demand destruction. We're seeing bids all along the river system not competitive. Grain is staying inland. So right now I'm looking at this. Uh, you know we had uh, a little bit of positive weather yesterday. I I think that the market's just uh, it, it's just we're seeing noise here in the market. I right. don't think this is a turnaround or a rally to the next level of highs. I think what we're seeing is just some trading within the range that's already been established, and I wouldn't be surprised to see corn bump its head on $8. $8 is that roll reversal yeah, right. uh, point where it was support. It, I think it'll now turn into resistance along with that 20-day moving average. I think we'll bump our head there and most likely move lower in the coming days. Yeah, Cody, well, let's take a cl closer look here at that December delivered corn chart right now. And uh, right, right now we do have this chart pulled up. This is a daily candlestick chart. And kind of like you were saying here, Cody, yeah, $8 is, ha has been a very important price level for this contract here. And that moving average that you referenced earlier, you know, that, that's sitting right here. So th those are both converging around $8. Right now we're seeing corn trade up seven and three quarters to seven ninety six and three quarters there. We'll have to watch that through the rest of the trade day. You know, soybeans in particular, I think right now looks like a range bound trade. Uh, kind of with the low end here around fifteen fifty, the high end sitting around sixteen fifty. And as you can see, we were approaching the bottom side of this range here before today's move higher. The soybean complex has been extremely volatile here, here recently. I really think that we're going to need some indications of how big our crop is before this market really gets direction. Right now, there is a lot of questions uh, you know, on, the, on the production side of things uh, as soybeans are in the pot filling stages. Certainly, it's not good, but how bad is it going to be, I guess, is the bottom line. We'll keep you posted on that here on Grain TV. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Wednesday morning on Grain TV. Thanks a lot for joining us. Join us tomorrow for the Export Sales Report.